Hello, this is Third Club, and today we are reviewing something. Yeah, finally, after like a couple days of not reviewing, we're back. With the 75293 Resistance ITS Transport, with 932 pieces and four minifigures. This set is transported from Galaxy's Edge Trading Outpost. And no, that doesn't mean this is, an, this is a theme park exclusive, it's actually a Target exclusive. <laughs> so... Our four figures here are Vi Marathi, Lieutenant Beck, Astromech Droid, and Gonk Power Droid. I'm sure the Gonk Power Droid memer is going to love this one. And, uh, yeah, here's a picture of it. You can see it's playing some TIE Fighters, which I would assume would be first order since this is a resistance vehicle. And I believe that Galaxy's Edge is set between Episode 8 and Episode 9. So, yeah, get a good look at it. Sorry for not uploading for the past few days. I've been losing my mind trying to find the 2021 sets, and I can't find them anywhere. So I had to order them. But ordering them also took a while. So they should be here soon. On the back, we can see there's a secret code to unlock it. All right, we're going to have to show you that in the manual. As you can see, we have features. Yay, features. As well as them unloading a box, which appears to have blasters in it. So we'll see about that. I am going to go get the special code out because I will give away all the free codes that I got because uh, I don't know why. Alright, here's the manual. Let's get this box out of here. Now I think I've already memorized the code, so I'm like 90% sure it says transport. So let's... Quickly look for this. Shuttle. Okay. Good shuttle. It's not transport. Got beat by 10%. Whatever else. Oh no, we knocked over a kit. So yeah, that's this set. Shout out to my grandparents for buying it. Let's take a look at the figures. All right. First figure up is Vimarati who is an exclusive figure to the set. Really, all the figures in the set are exclusives, which is nice. And as you can see, got a um, color gradient hair piece, which that's a pretty nice inclusion. Also a little Rebels Resistance logo on, the, on this orange or jacket, bright orange. No leg print, but I feel like that's kind of okay with this. It's fine. Kind of a standard pistol because obviously the um, troopers get the big rifles, and important characters get these tiny little things. All right, our next figure up is Lieutenant Beck, who is a Mon Calamari character with a pretty standard print. People have said like he has the shaggy color scheme from the Scooby Doo cartoon thing, you know, brown pants, green shirt, whatever. And his headpiece does kind of have the same colors as Admiral Radis, so those are like Rogue One. Buy this so you can get a official Lego Admiral Radis character. Another small blaster. So uh, yeah, pretty standard. Wiggle his head. Yay. Next up, we have an Astromech Droid, who is simply labeled Astromech Droid. Doesn't have an official name or anything. Looks pretty nice. I do like the black and red color scheme. Some have said it's a um, first order astromech, and I kind of have to agree. That does look like what a first order astromech would look like. So uh, spin him around. His wiggly leg, wheel, whatever things. And he's ready to do whatever. All right. Last figure up is a gonk power droid, because uh, everyone loves pow gonk power droids. There's like a whole bunch of memes off of them, I know. So there's another one in this set. He looks pretty nice. Got that little eye kind of thing. And an antenna on the top, standard brick built design, some nice legs. The legs are a bit loose I found, but it's not really a problem. All right, it's all built up and ready to be reviewed. This set is nice and large, and it doesn't really have a carrying handle because you can really pick it up anywhere. It stays on, I guess not the engine, so those things will fall off. It's a nice sleek design, and um, I mean, with the, if this goes well, the five of first battle pack. You know why? I mean, it could be the resistance ITS transport, or for those creative children, it can be the five of first frigate. <laughs> also, in this review, stay tuned because I'm about to do something which I don't think any other Lego YouTuber has done with this set. 
and I don't mean throwing it off a staircase. If we open it up here, we will see a nice interior for one figure, which they say Lieutenant Beck goes in here pretty well. So we'll get in, toss him in. Nice control panel there. Not sure if you can really see it, but it's a control panel. So yeah, Lieutenant Beck is ready to be sealed up in there. Kind of like this because I feel like it's meant to represent an airlock sort of thing. We also have these spinning turrets on both sides, each with two stud shooters, and a decent window, and some very nice contouring and shaping on the side. Look at that. How'd you get that angle? Well, um, spoiler alert, they're all on hinges. You can see the Technic skeleton. The set's like Technic in disguise. It's full of beams and rods and everything in between. Here we have some stickers, some more stickers on this side, and it's a very symmetrical build. You'll see the same on the other side. Now to get the interior, we can either fold these, which by the way, if you fold it like that, they don't close. It goes in that order. It looks very nice. You can fold it open, access it like that, and of course it opens up. Same thing on the other side. Or alternatively, if you really want to do it like the interior, you can rip off the roof. And in this interior space, everyone kept saying, you can't fit all the figures in here. And I'm about to show you how you can fit all the figures within the tiny space provided. And I don't mean like taking out this crate, which by the way is full of blasters, which is nice. You can arm the droids. Tada. Look at that. They're all in. They're all attached to the studs. Actually, the droid isn't supposed to be in an angle, but he can be if he wants to. Seal that up. Which, by the way, this roof panel here is on hinges, like these parts. It's that way. You can get a nice angle. This sets all about angles, it appears. And along with the other guy in there, that's all the figures sealed up inside. So proof that you can do it. I don't think any of the other YouTubers have done that yet. They all say it's impossible. It's not. In the engines, we can kind of see this little ball piece. You can't really put anyone inside along with this back section. It's all Technic to support these engines. And we do get a lot of engines. We get eight engines and more stud shooters. These engines are very reminiscent of the U-Wing engine design, which is nice. I, I like the U-Wing a lot. I'm not sure if you can tell by the past reviews, but this isn't really a carrying handle. It's just the piece hanging out. All them with a nice trans orange, and if you want, you can probably replace these with more trans orange so you can get as many engines as possible. Pick that up. Spoosh. The set is kind of like a hybrid of a couple of kits, I'd like to say, and I feel like other people have said it's like a hybrid. Because look, if you remove these turrets, it's like the Nebulon B frigate cockpit. Middle section is pretty much just any freighter which has space inside. So whatever you want, it can be the Rebel Combat Frigate from the Star Wars Rebel series. And the engines of a U-Wing. So they just threw together a whole bunch of sets and recreated a tourist attraction, which is currently in Florida. This set's displayability is like, it, it's a good set for displayability. I mean, just look at that. You got all the nice colors. It's nice and big on the shelf. You can see it next to the Razor Crest just for size. <laughs> so it's a pretty bulky set. And it definitely would get someone's attention. Like, hey, what's that? It doesn't look like a star. It looks like a Star Wars vehicle, but I've never seen it anywhere. So you have a fun story to tell that a really nice and displayable kit. Do I recommend buying this? Um, not sure. I think that like you might want to because if they start making more Galaxy's Edge ships, which I feel like they kind of will. Galaxy's Edge was a theme for Target in like 2020. If you look through their Lego, not Lego Star Wars, their general Star Wars products, there's plenty of Galaxy's Edge products. So they have a Lego one now. They'll probably do more because if you go there, they have like a whole bunch of different things. I know they have like a first order transport ship, a really neat looking A-wing kind of thing. So I would buy this because I think if they start making more Galaxy's Edge things, this kit's like value online is going to go up a lot. It's going to become harder to find and you're going to wish that you had bought it when it came out in summer of 2020. So yeah, those are my overall thoughts, overall thoughts on the sturdy transporting ship. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video, which should hopefully be coming out soon.
actually, um, before this video ends off here, I just realized I forgot to tell you something. If you're looking to do some post-holiday shopping, like if you have gift cards and things for Legos, definitely do this because like I've been to like several targets for the past few days trying to find trouble in Tatooine and they have these things in stock like everywhere. And considering they could go up in value in the future, I'd pick one up if I were you.